Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Manager. Today is the big day in the game. It's our first Grand Tour. It's a Tio d'Italia racing for the pink jersey and getting top five, uh, winning a stage or winning a, uh, one of the jerseys in the race will allow me to race the Tour de France. I don't know if I want to this year, if I just want to save to next year and then do the Vuelta this year instead because the, I think it's a bit too much to do both the Tio d'Italia and the Worlds in the same and the Tour de France in the same year. So maybe I'll do the Worlds instead and then stay to France for the next year. But of course, to do that, to have that decision, I have to either, yeah, as I said before, get some five overall or win a jersey. Most likely it's probably winning the under 25 jersey as I don't see uh, that many threats overall. I'm also pretty close to leveling up. So if I get a good result in the Grand Tour, maybe uh, you know, top 5 or top 10 in some of stages, I should probably be able to uh, to get close to leveling up because I'm so close and I'm right now I'm training my climber stats uh, I think you can see them training here climber which should improve my mountain stats and my hill stats a small bit and also all of these stats which are, which are really important uh, doing grand tours next up I'll probably tr train my puncher stats I know it's bad for my time trial but I've already won the most important time trial championship. You can win the world championship. So I don't really care that much about it as well. It's it's good enough for me, even if it's around 75. 79 is... I, I would rather have my these, these that switched around instead. So yeah. I just let's just get this race started. I'm not going to do the team time trial. You saw it in Tour of Romandy. It went horrible. This is my team. I have a pretty good helper here in Duarte. Should be able to stick with me in a lot of mountain stages. But yeah, let's get it started. As you can see here, the, after this is of course loading, uh, hopefully I'll get a good result. 30 seconds after Tink of Saxo so far, but they don't really have that big a threat. Sagarin is okay. Movie start doesn't have Quintana or Valverde starting. I think Valverde is pretty old as well now. I start now with No, Aru, or Nib Nibelis here. 81 Mountain and Pinot, 82. Uh, probably Pinot is probably one of my biggest favorites, uh, biggest competitors. But we actually ended up in first, second, fourth place and ahead of Sky. Uh, that's pretty surprising. I didn't expect us. But looking at that, at it, let's see where is Quick Step, Ethics Quick Step. Do, do they have Contador with them? No. So we have Nibali, but Froome wasn't there. Uh, Quintana Valverde wasn't there. This could actually look pretty good for top three overall for me. That's probably my goal so far. I've decided to part this vid, part the Dude Italia up in three videos. From uh, I got a pretty nice comment saying that it would be a good idea to do from one from the start of the race to the first rest day, and then from the first rest day to the second rest day, and then the last part in one video. I don't know how exciting the first part of the Dude Italia really is. I haven't really looked at the profile for this year's Dude Italia. But yeah, as you can see, I'll just be moving on to the first really important stage now. Okay, here we have the first exciting stage. There has been one hill stage before, but it wasn't really that exciting. So this is probably the first race of the video. It's the stage 4, Civerato La Spezia. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Little category of climb towards the end. Hopefully we can see some, as much energy as possible, because most of the stages will probably be decided on that one hill. And I'm, that... that I'm not liking hill stats that much, considering my pretty weak hill stats. And I've been looking at the the pearls on this, in this tier, and it's not really that great of, of riders who are in this tier. So I'm, I should be able to challenge guys like Nibali, uh, Richie Port, and Rigobert Uran, not Richie Port, uh, Thibaut Pinot, for uh, the win overall. So I'm actually, anything less than top 3 would be a really big disappointment overall. But let's just get this race started and save up some energy and hopefully not lose any time today. Okay, we're nearing the start of the first important climb in this year's Dio d'Italia. And looks like this, not that long. Probably about around 4 kilometers to it right now. And then it's probably around 4 or 3 kilometers long as well. So it's not like the major difference is probably made. I'll try and attack at the bottom actually, before the climb even starts. Uh, it's something I haven't really done much. Because of my acceleration, I usually just uh, set a low pace, uh, set a high pace, and then uh, force the eyes to either attack 
and lose out of the energy or just sit on my wheel for as long as they can endure, which usually isn't that long or usually most of the weaker riders will fall off and only the two riders will actually be stronger than me of course will make it but have we pretty much made it to the bottom now? I should probably attack around now at I honestly if I want to have a chance of actually getting some acceleration on before we hit the mountain here. Yeah. I do get stuck behind the Astana train, Sabirov, Kangar, Pinot, Roland, all the favorites are trying to get on my wheel right now. Put on the 85 now, I think. Is that Santa Romita from the breakaway? Yeah, he has taken the mountain jersey away from uh, my, my teammate Katri, who actually had the mountain jersey from a breakaway yesterday. But Santa Romita has taken it back from uh, Sky. Uh, not for Sky, for. Uh, I think he's riding for Katusha right now, wasn't he? Actually, surprising that I'm even allowed to have a gap like this. Pinot Roland is behind me right now. I expect them to get up to me before the, the climbs uh, top here, but it's, this is actually the top of uh, today's stage. From now on, it's flat and uh, downhill for the rest of the stage. Don't really know if I can uh, keep any gap here at all, because it seems like the Pelton's really close behind us. And so is so is Richie Port and Roland, I think it was. No, not Richie Port. I'm keeping saying Richie Port instead of, instead of Pinot. But yeah, Pinot, of course. La Spezia. I've actually been in La Spezia before myself. I was there this, this summer. Really nice town. Okay. Six lumps to go. I still am holding a gap to the three guys behind me, but I don't have a lot of energy left. So I don't think I'll manage to keep this towards the end. I'd rather save up some energy and, and, uh, and risk uh, not dying out of Ah, actually, I'm putting out 85 again. I know they're right behind me. It's Pinot, I think. It is actually Nibali. I'm pretty surprised. I expected Pinot to be the better climber of these two today. But Nibali shows that he is the best. Hopefully, I can stick on his wheel and not lose any time to him. Yeah, he does probably gain a little 10 seconds or so plus bonus seconds to me. But I do gain time on the rest of, the po of my opponents, which I actually was worried about losing time. Duarte from my team comes in 9th as well. Good sign that my teammate is in good shape for this race. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get on to the next stage. Okay, here we have it. That second place actually gave me some XP because this is the first top 5 stage place I've gotten in a World Tour race, uh, or at least a Grand Tour race, and a top 3 as well. So I got 90 XP, which is actually quite a lot. And well into level 19 already right now. Let's see uh, if it got any great stats. 80 to 81. Wasn't I already? Oh. Oh yeah, it's, it's still punch jump training. So, uh, I feel like this is the same stats I had before. I had 66 acceleration, 81 mountain, 75 hills. I don't really get that. Maybe I just didn't level up at all. Let's check out here. Oh, here it is. Here are the actual stats. Let's see here. So, so it's it has the wrong stats here, but I think it's the right stats here. 82 mountains, that's, that's pretty weird, Buck. 82 mountains, that's great. 76 hills, that's an improvement as well, pretty good for me. 67 acceleration. And these stats, I don't remember what they were before, but I can probably check it here. 69, 73, and 76. And here we have 69, 68, so improved stamina and recovery as well. That's great results. Actually, let's just get to the next stage. Nice level up for me. It's only stage 5 and we already have the first mountain stage. And look at this stage. I don't know how steep it is. It doesn't actually look that steep when you look at the profile. But it is a mountain stage. And I'm sure some time differences will be made on this stage. I've just leveled up, of course. So 82 mountains now should be the best in the game tied with Pinot. So hopefully I can actually gain some time on uh, Nibali and take the pink jersey from him. Okay, we've almost reached the final climb. As you can see, it isn't really that steep. Only orange, no red or black bits on mountains. So there's no real place. It's just endurance who can withstand a pace for the longest time. I'll probably go around 70, 75 and hopefully that'll last for a long time. 
And but I think we'll have some attacks from some of the not the biggest favorites, maybe even Nibali or Pinot attacking early on. And I'll have to go on my own pace there and see what the right pace is if, if I want to last to what as long as to the finish line, for example. But Astana is really setting a high pace here. They don't want to let anybody get up forward right now. Do, luckily enough, I do have a helper, and it's a pretty strong wind as well, so I have actually lost a lot of energy before the climb has even begun. I don't know how much energy Nibali or Pinot, of course, have lost because they're sitting up here uh, in the front of the peloton. Don't actually know where Pinot is right now. Pinot's sitting actually quite a way down. Maybe he's going to get bottles now. If he is, that's a pretty terrible timing, honestly. Put it on 70 and go myself now. Let's see how that works out. I think we'll see an attack now because we have just hit the, the climb. So let's see. I'm, I'll am i be setting the pace now. And Pantano from uh, Orchid Greenets has made the first attack of the stage. Not the stage, but the first attack on the last mountain here. Dela Cruz, Berne, uh, Stettina as well goes after him. Kanga has to close this gap. If he doesn't, it'd be a huge mistake from uh, Astana. Yates, the Yates brothers, both on my wheels now from Sky and uh, BMC. Kenny Lassonde from Cool Energy as well tries to close. Uh, Astana's just riding at their own pace, it seems, right now. Doesn't really look like I'm using that much energy. I put it up to 75 instead. I think they'll, at some point, they'll come riding really fast behind me and just overtake me. But I uh, might as well get uh, as big of a gap as, as, as I possibly can. Yates brothers are still just behind me here. Like what's Uran, Tyre Tink of Sucks, the team, seems to be closing in on me. I have caught up with uh, Pantano here. Ten riders behind me should be... I don't think Nibali is actually there. Yeah, okay, he is right there. Put up to 85 because it's only 5.6 lumps to go. And I still feel like we're going. I still feel like I have a lot of energy left. It is uh, Adam Yates, 79 rated climber. Who is really by, by far the fastest of the of my competitors now. It's me versus the two Yates brothers right now. That's actually a pretty interesting development. It seems like Simon Yates is struggling. I'll use my energy gel now as well. Put it up to I uh, stick it at 85 still. Adam Yates is probably going to beat me in the sprint, but I don't care that much about it. Yates is a minute after me. Okay, he's actually dropping now. But I imagine I'll be dropping soon as well, since I have probably overestimated my powers a little bit. Or maybe the length of the climb a little bit here. Let's see, there's actually not anybody close to me. You can see it is. I'm a door actually from Movistar in second place. But I think I won it. Yeah, I won the stage. Let's, there's not really a great camera angle here because of all the, the climbs. I'm a door, Uran, and... Uh, Adam Yates rounds out the group behind me with uh, Amador taking second. Simon Yates, no Astana riders yet. They've completely ruined themselves in this race. I think they've ridden the flat part too hard because they've set up front and taken all the wind today and they didn't even get anything out of it. Nibli comes in here. Pinot was, out, was probably behind getting bottles and he was my biggest competitor for the stage win and probably for this overall race as well. So this is a great result for me. I should be the massive favorite to win overall now with my great time trial stats as well. Okay, after a pretty boring flat sprint stage, which ended up nothing, I'm looking pretty good overall right now. First in all classifications apart from mountain classifications, where I'm only beaten by Centromita, I think. And this is the hill stage, stage 7, Cosetto Tufiotti. I mean, actually the finish, not in the categorized climbs, but looks pretty interesting. Uh, I should be able to get a good result here as well. Hopefully a top 3 placement as well. Yeah, I also didn't show it, but of course by winning a stage, I have now gained access to the Tour de France. So we'll see if we'll do this this year. I don't think I will, honestly. But yeah, let's just get this race started as well. Okay, we are finally nearing the end of this really boring stage. I mean, seriously, it's been such a snore fest. The stage was over 250 kilometers long. And... I mean, that's almost as long as some of the monuments are, even longer than some of them. 
and it's been so flat. And look at the finish here. It's not even that steep in the climbs. I mean, it does end up uphill, and yeah, it does go up and down a lot in the last kilometers here. But it seems like actually the Yates brothers are attacking now, so I'm probably trying to go after them, I guess. I mean, my acceleration is pretty poor, and my door, of course, second overall. My biggest threat now for the pink jersey. I like the fact that the Yates brothers are attacking with each other. It's I don't, I don't think it's uh, an intended feature, but it's pretty funny. Anyway, I'm wondering if any of the other teams will uh, try and catch them at all. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing that great on this stage. I've lost a lot of energy already. And uh, it doesn't look that great for me, honestly. Nice big group up front now. With me closing the gap to everybody attacking. Still the, both of the Yates brothers out in front and uh, Moscon from the breakaway properly. It is actually Adam Yates who is third overall. Who's looking the best of the guys in the breakaway right now. I don't want to be closing all the gaps. I know that I don't shouldn't let them away, but I don't want to use that much energy myself either. So now we only have the Yates brothers out in front. And it seems like Astana has f thankfully taken a, a control and are trying to close the gap to them as well. Of course, we have Tinker Saxophone riding for Amador, trying to protect their second place overall. They don't want to lose that either. But I seem like I, I, I don't know, even I haven't really done anything in the entire race, but maybe this, this has just been so long that it's been tiring for me. Uh, I don't really know. I haven't attacked or anything. I sort of high pace myself. Just been sitting in a good position as usual in the peloton. But it seems like I'm not in that great of a shape today. Luckily, or so this was thing to the top after the last climb. We have this one little small uh, step towards the end here, but that shouldn't be anything to worry about. I think I'm going to be dropped here with Amador, Nibali, and other hill specialists that try are getting away from me right now. Which isn't the best result, but I'm not. I'm going to probably lose the pink jersey to uh, Simon Yates today. Because this is a, it's a way too big of a gap. Must come from the break, we actually won. Wow, he's probably saved up some energy sitting up front while uh, we was, we were, the rest of us was riding pretty fast behind. I don't think this was that great of a result. I think I probably lost. I, I think I lost three minutes, I saw that. But I don't know how much time I lost to Adam Yates and uh, Nibali and other riders. So let us get some mountain stages back. I enjoy them much more than these hill stages because I I don't uh, this was pretty much a flat stage with a lot of attacks and I don't really fancy those kind of stages. I, I should have simulated this one as well. I probably have got a better result honestly. Okay, yeah, pretty fun with some honestly. I ended up one second after uh, Adam Yates so far. Only 42 seconds or 41 seconds, of course, ahead of Nibali. So, Nibali is looking a lot more scary right now for the overall victory. Adam Yates, I don't know what time trials that he has. 64. Oh, that's pretty terrible, honestly. I should be able to gain a lot of time in, on the time trial at least. And uh, at least go even with him on the mount status. But uh, this day is not a big fan. I think there's around two or three. Two stages more to go before the first rest day. Uh, let's see if any of them are exciting stages. And actually, the very next one was a really exciting stage here. Not a mountain stage. Category 2 climb. It goes pretty much downhill with a small, some small climbs on the way. And then it ends up in, a, I don't know, probably a Category 1 or Category 2 climb as well. It looks a bit steeper than the last mountain stage, but also shorter. So maybe that's in my favorite. I don't really know. Only thing to only way to find out is, of course, getting the race started. Okay, we're now entering the last 20 kilometers on this mountain stage. And Astana has been riding really tough with uh, both Pozzovivo and Ganga, trying to break away with Nibali. And uh, Adam Yates has tried to follow all of the efforts. Pinot now as well moving up forward. I, meanwhile, have just been sitting alone, riding my own pace. Duarte has been really helpful, honestly. Uh, closing in a lot of the gaps because the, just before we had a group breakaway with Nibali, uh, Kanga, Pusvivu and Adam Yates but Duarte single-handedly brought them back home and 
now we are pretty much starting the final, final climb. I'm putting it on 70, and we'll see how long that lasts. The climb is slowly beginning now, so it's about. Uh, I would consider for other riders to uh, get on my wheel because if you ain't on my wheel now, you're not going to last for that long. I don't think so. It's only 35 riders now in the front group. Herada now falls off. Duarte is really weak as well. So Pinot's of course the strongest rider, but he's five minutes after in the overall standings. So I don't know if he has to help his teammates or if he has the if he can follow me, if he's allowed to follow me at all, at, at least. Climb is still starting about halfway up at around five or six miles to the finish line. I think we have a little wreck section. So should probably be where I will struggle the most. Of course, the other guys will struggle the most as well. Duarte has fallen off now, down to 25 riders. Duarte has really sacrificed himself today. So I um, appreciate that, of course. That's a Puma. Pinot now as well, going up in front. I put up to 75 because I want to be the guy that is setting the pace. And it doesn't seem like I am allowed to right now. Pinot is really riding fast now. It is, that's going to, if, if I'm not setting a fast pace, this means a lot of riders are going to fall off right now. Because that means he's riding a lot faster than 75, probably around 80 or 85 now. 24 riders, Nibali still here, Yates, Hinao, Uran. Pierre Lang, all of the favorites here as well. Elison tries to close the gap. If you're not here right now, you're not going to win the Duty uh, Italia, I would say that at least. Uran, 230 behind. Uh, Adam Yates, of course. Pierre Lang, Elison. Yates closed the gap. Uh, Simon Yates is gone, apparently, today. Uh, surprised not to see Pinot more up front here now. Nibali as well. Right now I'm just going at my own pace. I don't know if 75 is a good pace to be going at. Put up to 80. I'm, I'm hoping that's not, that's not too optimistic uh, for my own strengths. Probably change the camera angle now because what's going on behind me is a bit more important now than what's going on in front of me. Uh, 40 seconds. I'm, I'm probably going to regain my pink jersey. I think I'm, I've won this stage right now. I have a lot of energy left. Nibali and Pino, both of the guys have fallen off. So has, I think, is that Yates? Is that the pink Yates? No, I think that's Simon Yates. Yeah, Adam Yates is still sitting here. Pio Lang and Uran are actually looking like my biggest competitors for today's States. Kenny Lesant from my old team. Surprisingly well. Uh, doing surprisingly well. I honestly didn't expect him to be up here. Um, over a minute gap right now. A really bad day for Astana today, but uh, I can be pretty happy. And a nice second victory today. Uh, over a minute gap, I think this is uh, Adam Yates and probably Roland and Uran as well. No, actually, it's uh, Simon Yates who overtakes the entire leading group at the end here. Been riding his own pace with the mountains just like I did. And El Sante now just behind him, and then we have the two Astana riders. So Nibali lost a lot of time today. I don't know if Pinot was weak or if he just was sent down to protect Nibali. It's a pretty terrible mistake if they've chosen to protect Nibali that well with Pinot because Pinot is the better rider, of course. But at least in the mountains. Nibali, of course, won the, the designing states, which uh, the sister says before when I got second place, I think. So he's probably, from that moment on, he's probably been the captain for Astana. And that's a, you can't really change much about that in the game. But yeah, one stage good to go. Let's just see what kind of stage it is. Because this video has been so long already. I mean, I've been recording for over an hour and we still haven't got to the first rest day yet. I expected it. The last day before uh, rest day usually is a pretty tough day. You don't usually have two rest days in a row. So I expected this to be a, either a mountain or hill stage. And it is a hill stage. It looks actually pretty hilly, so it should be a bit better for me than the flat stage we had before where I lost some time to uh, pretty much all of the other favorites. Let's just get it started. I'm leading pretty much everything right now. Hopefully I can keep it that way. Let's get the race underway. Okay, I've been in attack all day long. I uh, Not all day long, but I attacked on the Academy 1 climb here, the steepest section just in the start of the black part here. 
and I've been going solo. Got caught up by Pinot at one point and due to downhill, and we've been uh, riding together for a pretty long time already now. But just been attacking the small 45 man peloton behind us. Both the Yates brothers, Roland and Juan, up on our way up. Nibali is still sitting behind here. Should probably get up here as well soon because they're pretty close to us. I'm pretty worried about if I've been using too much energy just sitting uh, sitting up here alone instead of just resting in the peloton and letting my teammates do the work. Uh, please let me get in the wheels of these guys. Why does this always happen? It's flat road. I'm on 85. It shouldn't be a problem at all, this. Yeah, well, I'm just going at my own pace again. I think that's probably the best plan anyway. Uh, I really don't like these health stages. They always work out the pretty much the opposite way that I've planned. Nibali is actually here with me. Pinu as well. So we have six guys out in front now. None of them... Uh, I mean, Simon Yates and Adam Yates. I, I still don't consider them threat. I, I mean, Adam Yates is probably the biggest threat all, actually in the entire... in the entire uh, peloton because he seems to be doing really well right now. Uh, that's pretty much it. None of the other guys up there I'd consider Fred's maybe Uran if he could pull out a great time trial better than I expected at least. Um, I'll, I'll stay at 65. I know it's probably too weak of uh, a gradient for now. But we're still, I mean, we're over a minute behind them. Pinot and uh, Nibali seems to be struggling a lot. I think Pinot is actually even weaker than me from the, doing that breakaway early on in stage. Now going up as well now, uh, two Garmin riders here, Acevedo and uh, Kredak. Kredak actually creates stats right now, 78 mountains. Of course, not a crane to win a stats, but still great enough to win a lot of great stages. Right now it's just damage limitation. Pantano him now are being caught now. I don't know who that is up there. I don't think it's it is actually Adam Yates. That's pretty good if if I'm only like one minute after him right now. Uh, Simon Yates wins, but uh, Adam Yates was not in the front group. I think Pierre Lang and uh, Rick Watu are against him. Simon I actually ended up top ten, considering that I used a lot of energy early on in the stage, so that's not too bad of a result. I pretty much saved it by re recovering energy instead of following them. I, I went by my own pace and uh, that ended up well. But let's check out the results at the end, uh, at the beginning of the first rest day. So these are the results at uh, the end of the first video, the first part of this three part Julie Tyler series. First so far, both Yates brought us just behind me in second and third Yates. Gained up a lot of time, overtook uh, Uran as well. Uran also gained a lot of time as well today. Uh, Pierre Rolang in fifth. Astana presented at sixth. That's really disappointing result considering the really strong team they they started this race with. Then we have uh, Hinao, another Sky member on seventh. Amador has fallen off a bit, especially today, as well as Nibali today. And Pinot, Astana really struggled today. Lost three minutes to me today. If you're losing three minutes to me, when I have a bad day, then you're really going to struggle overall. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for this year's, uh, for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, it's the first Grand Tour I've been uh, driving. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a comment, a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to the series or to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time for, I think, another week of uh, stages. See ya!